accountability and communication in the U.S. Army. Even though the U.S. Army deals with safeguarding the nation and protecting its interests internationally, it typically acts as a traditional organization to some extent. It refers to the fact that the military sphere has diverse and multi-level personnel, division of responsibilities, employees' rights and obligations, and others. That is why numerous skills and competencies are important in the Army, while accountability and communication are among them. The two phenomena are significant because the former prevents the waste of government resources and contributes to soldiers' fighting capability, while the latter saves lives and promotes leadership. To begin with, one should explain that accountability has a broad meaning when it is applied to the military. On the one hand, it refers to officers' responsibility for their actions and decisions. It implies that military personnel should be held accountable for every decision and action that results in adverse consequences. On the other hand, the term means keeping track of all equipment that belongs to a military member. This claim denotes that soldiers and officers are given many equipment pieces, including weapons, clothes, and others, and they should avoid losing these items. The following paragraphs will comment on why the phenomenon under consideration is of significance for the U.S. Army. Firstly, ensuring that officers are responsible for their poor decisions and actions is essential for the military system. It is so because such activities, for example, can subject military personnel to negative consequences for their mental and physical health. Vernon and Norris argue that this state of affairs is present because lower rank service members cannot often question such decisions or actions without receiving non judicial punishment. Since such documents can affect people's future by slowing their promotion, military individuals tend to avoid this situation. Consequently, accountability is essential because it ensures that high rank military personnel members do not misuse their power. Secondly, the phenomenon under analysis is also significant when it denotes keeping track of individual equipment. As has been mentioned above, service members are responsible for multiple items that directly influence their fighting capability. That is why routine inspections typically happen to ensure that all equipment pieces are present and in due condition. This process is significant because it helps minimize fraud, waste, and abuse of government resources. It should also be evident that if a soldier loses their rifle, they subject themselves and their team to threats. This information demonstrates that accountability makes the Army's economic and fighting performance more effective. Furthermore, it is challenging to deny that communication plays a crucial role in the U.S. Army. Shelton stipulates that the ability to communicate clearly can be considered a life-saving competence. It is so because expressing the thought, command, or order effectively increases the probability that the military personnel to whom this message is addressed can timely respond. Shelton also admits that it is possible to use appropriate technological advancements to stay in communication with the first line in the U.S. Army. These technologies typically ensure that the communication process will be flawless and private, contributing to achieving the desired outcomes. Moreover, it is necessary to admit that effective communication is required to establish productive relationships between various military personnel levels. According to Fox, communication is one of the leading phenomena in the Army since it helps lead and manage people. These two activities make the Army more mobile and professional. Service members should establish productive relations with senior officers, partners, and junior officers. That is why they should be aware of various communication techniques to ensure that each of these groups is efficiently reached. Fox also clarifies that establishing such communication is necessary because it encourages service members to express and share their thoughts concerning particular decisions. In turn, this approach results in the fact that more members of the military personnel are involved in the decision-making process, which improves their morale. Consequently, it is essential to stay in communication with the first line because this activity creates a more productive environment in the U.S. Army. In conclusion, the essay has presented a detailed explanation of what roles accountability and communication occupy in the U.S. Army. Since it has a broad meaning, the former concept offers positive consequences to various spheres. It refers to making officers responsible for their poor decisions and actions, which ensures that lower-rank service members do not face discrimination. 
this term also implies that soldiers and officers should keep track of all their equipment. This step is of significance because it leads to the Army's enhanced economic and fighting performance. As for staying in communication with the first line, this activity ensures that service members of multiple levels participate in the decision-making processes, which increases their morale and establishes a more collaborative environment. These findings demonstrate that it is reasonable to invest in promoting accountability and communication in the U.S. Army to make this field more effective.